Hi folks, it's Max from HTCVoHacks.com. So I've got a quick ROM overview of the latest uh, Mean Bean ROM. Um, if you're looking for a good sense-based ROM uh, with stock stability, with overclocking, with great battery life, uh, definitely check this one out. Uh, there's a ton of uh, added stuff. Uh, first, let me show you some of the options here. Um, you will have a long press back to kill if you want. Um, that's actually an optional. You'll have to get it. Uh, you have to actually install. After installing ROM, you'll have to install um, the the settings, which I'll show you how to do it. And also, let me show you. Um, you can add power toggles if you enable this. Um, you have additional toggles there, uh, which is really nice for shortcuts and stuff. And also, I've got uh, a regular AOSP for the recent. You can also choose this uh, when you customize it. And uh, also, you can overclock it. I've got it overclocked to 1.8 gigahertz, um, which is nice. This also, you'll have to install the the additional kernel, which I'll also show you. And you can get uh, Wi-Fi tether easily, 3G and 4G, uh, simply by setting this. And also, just set your encryption, SSID, and you should be all good to go. And uh, you know what? You might have to actually. You know what? You might have to change it to generic ICS Jelly Bean right like that, and also uh, set setup method to uh, net the NDC. Uh, make sure you enable Max Client CMD, and also enable Wi-Fi Driver Reload 2. Um, and that's pretty much it. And uh, you should be all good to go as far as Wi-Fi tethering goes. There's also stuff like uh, camera uh, wake. That's also an option you can choose uh, in a ROM installer, and which I'll show you. And also uh, camera mods. There are some camera mods. Um, you will uh, be able to enable, disable your shutter sound. And that's pretty much it. Uh, and there's some additional features, but very nice and fast ROM. Uh, also with overclocking, I've got almost 6,000 on quadrant. I don't actually recommend overclocking that much. Uh, but let me show you some of this aroma installer. After installing this ROM, go ahead and choose recovery using the power menus there. And uh, that's actually the the closing boot animation. Oh, uh, shutdown animation. And uh, let it let's let it get to um, the recovery here. And uh, this will give you additional settings after you install the ROM. So after installing ROM. If you want additional options uh, like um, long press back to kill, uh, camera button to wake, also you know overclocking, you'll have to do this, and that really brings out the full functionality of this uh, ROM. So let me go ahead and do this. Um, hit install, and uh, let me see here. If you browse to SD card uh, mean bean directory, you'll see there's a new mean bean directory. You'll find sticky settings. Go ahead and install this. This is actually customization settings, a ROM installer after you install the ROM. So go go here, and you can enable stuff like uh, wake screen with camera button, half uh, press camera to search, wake screen with incoming SMS. Uh, this is kind of useful if you use a lot of SMS. Stronger uh, feedback for buttons. That's the vibration. Enable landscape uh, for home screens. I forgot to show you that, but yeah, it's enabled. And also AOSP style, that's what I installed there. Uh, force close dialogs, um, additional stuff. Enable beats notification. If you you know use headphones, it'll uh, notify you. Long press, long press back to kill app, and also long press back to sleep. You should just choose one, uh, otherwise it's not gonna know what to do. And also long press home for power menu. Um, you can use one of those, and also you can even set the long press delay here, uh, capacitive buttons brighter, kernel here. You'll have to choose the modify stock if you want overclocking, and then also just set it to 1.5. Do not overclock, and then I would actually suggest using an app like Set CPU so you can actually set the uh, overclocking um, maximum overclocking frequency. And also, I recommend uh, on demand for best battery life. If you want uh, better performance, choose Interactive uh, X or IntelliDemand. 
both are pretty good for performance. Um, ZRAM swap, you can say yes or no. Xbox Control SPT, and also uh, you can focus on performance or battery. Now this ROM automatically underclocks when your screen's off. Uh, if you choose battery, um, I I would suggest that. And also SD card read ahead. Set it to about two two gigs. That should be fine. That'll make your um, SD card read faster. But that's pretty much it. And uh, you know after you install your ROM. Go ahead and make sure you run this sticky settings, otherwise you won't not get all those extra settings. But pretty solid ROM, uh, very good sense ROM. If you're looking for a good sense ROM for your Evo 4 GLT, check it out for this week's ROM of the week and do let me know what you think. And as always, if you have an Evo 4 GLTE, don't forget to sign up for my email list at uh, accevohacks.com. We update you once a week with ROM of the week tips, hacks, and more. And also, if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button for me here, subscribe button down there. And I'll see you guys soon. Uh, enjoy Mean Bean for this week. Yep.